pretty few seconds to get here. Um, I'm Samantha Bell, and I am the cat expert here at Best Friends Los Angeles. And we are here in Los Angeles right now in the kitten nursery, which is probably one of the cutest places on earth. And we're here today because coming up this weekend is Mother's Day, and we want to celebrate not just human mothers or those mother figures in our lives, but we want to talk about mothers to kittens. We have mother cats here that are mothers to their babies, and we also have a lot of wonderful staff and volunteer volunteers that act as mothers because all of these kittens that you see here, and are you ready? Do you wanna, you wanna see some? All of these kittens that you see here are orphans. They do not have mothers. So all of these kittens were found outside by Good Samaritans who brought them to a city shelter. And the city shelter doesn't have the resources to care for these little babies. They require a lot of time, a lot of care, a lot of resources. And so the city shelters aren't able to hold on to them. So we come in and we rescue these little babies from the city shelter. We bring them to our nursery, which is basically, we want our nursery to be just a stop like before they go to foster. We don't want them to have to stay here too long. We want all these babies to get into foster homes. So this right here is called an aqua and it's kind of like a, a big fish tank. And in the fish tank underneath it, we've got a, um, a heating pad to keep the babies warm. We've got soft blankets and we have little stuffed animals for the baby and all these kittens in here they were born, aw, uh, looks like April 23rd. So they are about a week old right now. And their names are all Star Wars names. Ray, R2D2, Ren, Raparo, and Radagast. I probably said that wrong, Rapasso, maybe. I don't know, that's a Star Wars person, I don't know. <laughs> so all of these babies are in there. There are two of them that are Calicos. And so in order to tell the two Calicos apart, we put a, the tiniest, tiniest little blue nail polish dot on that calico's ear and that is to help us tell them apart because we want to weigh them we weigh them several times during the day if you come look at this this is a weight chart and so on there we've got all like this is r2d2's weights and some notes about how he did and, and if he went to the bathroom and everything so in order to tell those two calicos apart one of them has that little tiny nail polish and it will fall off as they grow. So th those are the first little babies. Now these babies, they don't, they don't have a mama, unfortunately. So we here take the place of mama, but you know, we are no substitute for a cat mama. If you find kittens outside and you don't see the mama, please wait. Just give mama a chance to come back because Usually, many times the mamas are scared of people, and so when they see you come up to the babies, they take off. So then you think, oh no, these babies don't have a mama, and actually they do, so just give it time to step way back. You know, go, go really far away and come back and check a couple hours later, and usually you'll find that that mama cat does come back, and that is what we want. We want these baby kittens to be raised by their mamas. We do the best we can, and we work so hard and we give them so much love and care and we give them formula with their bottle. And I'm trying to see if there are any that are drinking from their bottles right now. Not right now, but maybe in a few minutes we can show you a kitten that is being bottle fed. So, but we would really, really, we want to get the word out there that if you see kittens outside to please leave them there because the shelters don't have the resources. And unfortunately, if they can't care for them, they can't keep them. So we do the best we can to get them, but it's best to just leave them outside. And then once those kittens hit eight weeks old or around that time when you notice the kittens are big enough, then talk to a local rescue or shelter or a, we call it TNVR, trap, neuter, vaccinate and return. Talk, find, look that up, Google that and find someone in your area that can safely and humanely trap them and then they go to the vet and they get spayed and neutered and they get vaccinated and then they are put back outside where, do you know, in Los Angeles, 
there are three million cats living outside right now. So they can do it, they're fine. <laughs> there are many cats that are outside that are just, that's their life. Don't, don't try to bring them all in because we don't have room for them. There are only four million people in Los Angeles and three million outdoor cats. So if you see cats outside, leave, leave them there, <laughs> please, or else everything would be filled. But in the case, you know, the people that don't know to leave them or if the kitten's mom maybe never comes back or if the kittens don't look healthy, that's when you can take them and you can either bring them to a vet or you can talk to a rescue and say, I'd like to foster them. I want to find someone to foster them. Help me. And I guarantee you they will be happy to teach you how to bottle feed and maybe even give you the resources that you need, the, the milk and just... We would love for the whole country as a community to step up together and help us care for these little, these little sweet creatures. We have some more. So now I know you don't want to see me. You want to, you want to see the kittens. So let's look at some more kittens. This is El Paso. And El Paso is only a couple days old. And El Paso is a little boy. And I'm looking at his notes and they all say, great, good latch, good drinker. So that means every time he's getting his bottle, he is doing, oh. <laughs> He's like, me, that's me, I'm El Paso. So when they're this tiny, they get bottle fed every couple of hours. So it is, it is a lot of work, but it is so rewarding. I have a bunch of fosters at my house right now, and I have ones that I brought home at four, four days old, and I bottle fed them every two to three hours, but that doesn't last forever. You know, there are a couple weeks where you might be a little bit tired, but it doesn't last forever. So this poor little guy was must have been found all alone with no mama. So we are acting as his mama. And speaking of mothers, we definitely want to let you know that if you haven't found a perfect gift for a mother figure in your life, maybe maybe it's not your mom, but maybe a friend of yours that's a mom or your grandparents or you know, if you're looking for a Mother's Day gift, we have online a catalog of kindness. And the link is in the caption for this for this live. And you can go there and you can give your mom for Mother's Day. It's a symbolic gift, but what you're giving her is feeding kittens, caring for kittens. It's just giving us the ability to take in more of these precious babies and save their lives. So if you go to that link in the caption, obviously not right now because we want you to watch the babies, but when you're ready, if you go to that link, you can give your mom a really, really sweet symbolic Mother's Day gift and she will be saving these little baby kittens who don't have a mom. So let's see, do we have... This one? No? No, these, these are empty, so we can go over to the, to the um, incubators. Let's go over to the incubators. So the kittens that are in these incubators, they need a little bit more help. They might need a little more heat, a little more oxygen. They're the tiniest of the tiny, and we are doing absolutely everything we can to help them thrive. So they get these fancy incubators that are like really cool, and it's set to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 87 degrees Fahrenheit, and 54% humidity, which is perfect for a baby kitten to thrive. So maybe they were cold when they came in, or maybe they're just you know struggling a little bit. But these ones, they're doing great. The babies that are in these incubators right now are thriving and they're getting so much better and they're getting love and they're getting food. And that one down there is, let's see, the name is either, I think it's fruits. <laughs> fruits, onion, M4. And then there's a sweet little one in here. I don't know if it's hard to see with the reflection on there, but there's a very sweet baby here. And everyone say hello to Ariel, who is our, our cameraman, our <laughs> camera woman, camera person for today. Ariel is with us in the nursery and she's enjoying all the cuteness with us here. Do you see this little, it's a little bunny. It's so cute. It's sleeping on like the little bunny's dress. Oh, what a cute baby. So we actually do have a mother kitten a mother cat and her kittens that are in here right now so on the theme of mother's day let's look at this beautiful mama i don't know if it's it's kind of hard to see i could get a pair of gloves and maybe open it thank you 
and maybe crack it open so we can see. So in the nursery, we put on a new pair of gloves for every time we interact with a new litter because we don't want to transmit any disease from one litter to the next. And you might not even know they're sick, but they might have something, so you want to just make sure. So even though all I'm going to do is just kind of pack it a little bit, I'm touching this cage, and I still want to make sure my... So come on over here, Ariel, and you can get a look at this beautiful mama. Her name is Tusa. Hi, mama. Hi, Tusa. Everyone say happy Mother's Day to Tusa. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, everyone. Feliz Año del Madre. Feliz Dia del Madre. So that's Tusa. We're going to make sure she doesn't jump out. She, her babies, she's kind of over them right now. And, and that's totally normal. Um. Do you see how big they are? <laughs> They've been nursing on her for a while and, and they're big and they're getting teeth. Um, so she's, she's kind of, mothers get to the point where they're like, okay, yeah, I need a break. I'm ready for them to go. So a lot of people worry, oh no, what happens when they get adopted if the mother isn't with the babies? But it's not like that. that that's a human emotion. And with cats, it's very different. The mother has love hormone that is being produced while she is nursing them. But once she's no longer nursing them, her body stops producing that oxytocin and she's kind of like, okay, yeah, you're just cats. It's, it's time for you to go live your life. So people don't be sad when mamas are separated from babies because a lot of times the mamas can't wait to get away from the babies. <laughs> and I know that's hard to, it's hard to understand as humans because we like to give cats and dogs human emotions and feelings, but Truly, these are just, these are animals that are like, okay, I have nursed them, they are ready to go. And pretty soon she's gonna be thrilled to have a, a home of her own. I'm gonna close it because she really wants to come out. She's so pretty with her, she's got a lot of fluff. Did you see her little, she had like cat pants, like little fluffy pants on. So we're gonna go to a new litter, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these off so that if there were any germs from there, they're not on here. Let's, let's show a wonderful volunteer who is acting like a mama. So this is... This is Quilleen. Quilleen. Yeah, oh, totally. Everything runs as normal. Pretend like we're not even here. Just And, and so this is a kitten who is learning to eat gruel. So this is a little... This is a female. And she was nursing from, from a bottle. And now it is time for her to learn. So we help them and it takes so much patience and our volunteers are wonderful. And just like mothers, they have so much patience and they just help the kittens. They give them love and they pet them and they help them learn to eat. So let's see if she's ready to eat. I don't think she's ready. She actually gained uh, six grams. So. Oh, and so we, even when they're not on the bottle, we're still tracking their weight every single couple hours. And she has gained six grams by eating on her own. So this is just sort of like a little check-in. It's great for the kittens because they're getting socialization. They're being handled by people. So they're going to grow up to love humans. Look at her. Does she have a special eye? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I guess a couple others. Oh, yeah, she has a special eye. Mm -hmm. Those are always my favorites, the ones that are a little bit special. And she's also got some good floof. She's going to be a floofy girl. She's Look at that. That's a gorgeous baby. <laughs> Quilleen. So, yep, so she will be here um, until a foster is ready to, t oh, look at her. Here she goes. Je what an actress. She is a star. This is exactly what we wanted. Good girl. Right on camera. Trying her food. And you know, one interesting fact. Um, I have, if you've ever seen those videos that have kittens that have, just have like gruel all over their faces and they look like they're drowning in gruel, um, a lot of people don't realize that that means the kitten isn't ready to eat yet. So if, if you see those kittens that are just filthy and covered in gruel, just know they're not ready to eat yet because when they are ready to eat,
they will eat just like this little girl did, which was very neatly. She just kind of pecked at it. So this is a kitten who is truly ready for gruel. So she's a little bit shaky right now, and that's because their muscles are still forming and they're still learning to hold up their body. Oh. A sweet girl. <laughs> Those are beautiful. It's a beautiful pattern on her. Let me see how old she is. She is, um, doesn't say. Doesn't say how old. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, she's so cute, though. She is. She is absolutely adorable. And we keep weighing them just to make sure their weight is going up every day. We can come over here and we see one of our staff is doing an exam on a kitten. Hi! Hello. Hello. I'm doing a little intake exam on this guy. We just got him in from the East Valley shelter. Oh, he's so cute. He is. So he just got here. So this is the kitten. This is an example of this kitten. Someone brought them to the city shelter, East Valley. And we work with all of the city shelters in Los Angeles and they will reach out to us. We have a special phone number just between them and us. It's like the bat phone and they just say, hey, we have kittens. And then we come and we grab them from them so that we can save them and get them out to foster. This cutie is, he looks great. He's, honestly, He's about six weeks. Real chunky. Yeah, we like that. He's chunky. So he just got here, and um, we're gonna try to get him into foster. That's another thing is we definitely need fosters. So if you are in Los Angeles or anywhere in the country, I mean, everyone's gonna need fosters. Kitten season has exploded. There are kittens everywhere. Our goal is to have this nursery empty and have all of them in foster except for the most critical ones that we need you know the vet to see them every day but our goal is to have this, this place empty so all these kittens here are just waiting for foster so if you know anyone in los angeles who is interested in fostering it's not hard it is so much fun it is so cute and you don't need a lot of space when they're really really tiny like those little tiny ones that we saw at first they can just live in a carrier because they don't eat so they don't need like room for food they don't go to the bathroom, you have to help them go to the bathroom yourself so they don't need a litter box. They just need a heat source and some snuggly things. So you don't even need a whole extra room. You don't even need an extra bathroom. You just need can put them in a little carrier and as they get bigger, I put mine in like a little playpen and it's anyone can do it. And you know what's great is you can't be allergic to kittens that are this young. And the reason is because what people are allergic to when they're allergic to cats the cats, it's the, a protein in the cat's saliva. So when the cats groom themselves, the protein sticks to the fur, so the protein that's in their saliva, and then as that fur dissipates into the air, then that's what people are allergic to, the protein that's on that. You're not actually allergic to the fur, you're allergic to the protein in it, but when they're this small, they're not grooming themselves yet. So their little saliva isn't on their body, so you can't even say, Oh, I can't foster because I'm allergic. You have no excuses. So <laughs> let's look at let's look at another kitty over here. Look at this cuteness. Here we have another wonderful volunteer. We have volunteers around the clock that are helping us with these kittens. I'm trying to learn how to eat dry wet food now. Oh, trying to learn to eat wet food. And what is the name? My name is Tora. Tora. Torch. 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 My name is Torch, and I'm hungry, but I don't know how to eat yet. So Torch is going to learn. She's going to put him on a, on a soft blanket so it'll feel like mama. And yeah, and you put a little dot to see if the, they always do that too. Every single time you feed a kitten, they always <laughs> step in it. I know. You're so hungry. I know. Well, if you don't like this, we'll give you some milk, okay? You want to take it? And so we just give him a little taste. Is that Torch. Torch is He's a little, little male. Oh, he is so, so cute. cute. So we just give him a little taste. Yeah. Yeah. And if they like it, then they sometimes they just dig right in.
Oh, what a sweet baby. And so it's so great because not only are they getting nutrition, they're also getting love from humans. So they grow up to be very, very loving with people. So let me just give another little like where we are and what we're doing for the people that joined us late. So um, if you just joined us and you were here at the very beginning, I'm Samantha Bell and I'm with Best Friends Animal Society and I'm here in Los Angeles at the Kitten Nursery. And this is our wonderful Kitten Nursery. And we are here to celebrate Mother's and Mother's Day. And we have in the caption for this live, we talk about our catalog of kindness. And so if you haven't gotten a gift for a mother in your life or a mother figure in your life yet, we can hook you up. You just go to the catalog of kindness mm -hmm. and you can choose something really adorable to give your mom. And so you're, you're giving your mom the, the gift of saving little tiny baby kittens lives. And like, that is such a cute gift. I might do it too, but my mom's probably watching. So I don't want to, I don't want her to hear. Um, this little baby has his tongue out. This little gray and white one. He's sleeping with his little tongue out. Can you see it or no? Over here. See the little tongue? <laughs> He's got his little tongue out. He's doing a little glup for us. So yes, these kittens don't have mothers, unfortunately. Um, so we act as their mothers, our staff, our volunteers. Oh, they're having kitten dreams. Do you see the kitten dreams? Our staff and our volunteers and our fosters, they act as kitten mamas and they help feed these babies. And you even have to help them go to the bathroom. So you really play all of the roles that a mother would, a mother kitten would. This guy's very talkative, El Paso has a great stripe on his head. I've seen many kittens that have a little white stripe on their forehead, but his is phenomenal. Look at that. That's like a little, like, a hairdo. El Paso, look at, look at that stripe. Oh, he's very cute and he's nice and warm and he's cozy. He's on a, a heating pad that's on low and he's got a cozy blanket and a stuffed animal to snuggle with. And every couple hours, one of our staff or one of our volunteers will take him out and give him his bottle. And then hopefully we can get him into foster. So like I said, if, if you are interested in fostering, you can foster for as long as you want, as short as you want. If you say, look, I've just got one week and then I'm headed out on vacation, we can find a kitten just for a week for you. We will work with your schedule and we'll work with your ability. If you'd rather not have the tiniest, most fragile babies, then we can give you an older kitten to foster, like the one that just came in that we were looking at over there that's a little hardier, that just is eating regular food. Or if you really want to have fun, you can take one of these little tiny babies. That's what I do. And honestly, like I just feel fulfilled when I have a bottle baby. I feel like my life has purpose and I know that's super cheesy, but that's why, that's why I do what I do. I just, I'm so happy when I'm giving a bottle to a baby kitten. Cause look at that face. Let's see if there's a couple other kittens we can show and then we will wrap it up. So does any, did you see any questions, Ariel? We have our wonderful Ariel with us. Um, no questions at the moment. Just a lot of, they're very, very cute. They are, this is the cutest place in the world. One of the cutest places in the world because there are other kitten nurseries. So I'm gonna get gloves and we're gonna just show you one more kitten. Anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask. What's a good kitten to show? What's a good what's a good looking kitten to show everyone? Um I mean, the new guys over here are really fluffy and chunky, so they're really cute. What which ones? The little orange ones. Are there, uh, I think it's eleven or ten. Do you have a bottle? Oh yes, oh yes, yeah, so I'm my new gloves, so I'm not spreading any diseases. And look at this. <laughs> That's Cincinnati. His name is Cincinnati. And he walked around the block. Let me get him. And I'm going to hold him very carefully. And I'm going to support, support his little body. And we're going to 
we'll just let you see Cincinnati. He, I need to clean his little eyes, but that is some good flu. You see this amount of flu? So if you would like to help us help sweet little kittens like Cincinnati, then just go ahead to our link for Mother's Day and our symbolic catalog of kindness. You can help. You can help baby kittens like this. <laughs> you know I want to clean those eyes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're on camera. We need to clean those eyes. No, it's okay. You're okay. This is a very good baby who really likes being held. He's not squirming. He's not crying. I know a lot of people worry when they see kittens being held, but this is a kitten who really likes being held. And he's starting to get squirmy, so I'm going to put him back with his family. And... I can't help it, but I need to show you this one too. This is Chesapeake. And this is a little girl named Chesapeake. She says hello and she says happy Mother's Day to everyone. And she says thank you to everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of our live stream. Thank you for supporting best friends. I'm gonna put this little baby back and we're gonna say goodbye. Here she goes with her brother. With a nice big plate of gruel to eat. Wonderful. So I think that's it for today. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mother figures and mothers out there. Oh, we have a quick question. What oh. kind of coloring was Chesapeake? Chesapeake is buff and white. So buff is that like peach color that's between orange and and yellowish kind of like so we say buff and white it's a unique color like that is a very unique looking kitten like adorable so buff and white yeah buff is such a pretty color oh and then kimberly's asking um do you guys have round the clock staff for the little babies that are newborn we do we have a couple staff members that work overnight and we stagger them all so you know so someone comes in and then three hours later someone comes in so at all times we have this nursery staffed and we even have some volunteers that are night owls and that like to stay up late. I can think of a couple in particular that I love and they will come in and help out overnight sometimes too. So if you're if you're one of those people, we can always use overnight help because if you look at all these babies, they all need to be fed every couple of hours. So that's a lot of help we need. And if you're not in Los Angeles and you're not able to actually come in, we're just grateful for the support and we want to thank you for just spreading the word about fostering and about our kitten nursery. <laughs> and, oh, my oh my goodness, what a beautiful baby. <laughs> yes, that kitten needs, needs to be that kitten needs to be on screen more than me. So thank you so much for your support. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Please check out that link that's in our caption that talks about the symbolic gifts that you can give your mother for Mother's Day so that they can help, you can all together help save them all. So thank you so much, everyone.